Hi everyone. I hope you're having a great day today and welcome to the New Sage channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Romulus. Now, Romulus made his first appearance in Marvel Comics in the Wolverine issue number 50 in March of 2007. Now, this appearance was just in the shadows and you didn't get a good look at him. His first full appearance was in Wolverine Origins number 39 in August of 2009. Now, Romulus is a functionally immortal being that stands at seven feet tall and weighs 300 pounds. Most of the time, his eyes are depicted as being red and he has black hair. Romulus has somewhat of an obsession with the character Wolverine. And Nick Fury actually reveals to Wolverine that Romulus has been manipulating people from his family's bloodline for centuries. It's even implied at times that although Romulus is much older than Wolverine, that in Romulus's eyes, Wolverine is somewhat of a pinnacle or a point that he would like to reach in evolution. Romulus was the leader of the Lupines, which is a group of feral mutants that he claimed were descended from wolves instead of primates. Thousands of years old, he was also the emperor of Rome. And in the 1940s, he murdered Wolverine's wife, Itsu, and cut the infant Dakin from her womb, raising and training him and then pitting him against his father, Wolverine, to see which one of them would come out victorious. Wolverine finally had Cloak trap Romulus in the Dark Force dimension, but Sabretooth broke him out. The twin sister of Romulus, Remus, actually helped Wolverine capture him again. Now, very little is known about the full extent of Romulus's powers. And as with Wolverine, Romulus does display uh, an accelerated healing factor that allows him to rapidly regenerate damaged or destroyed tissue with a lot greater speed and efficiency than normal humans. Romulus's healing factor also grants him virtual immunity to any known diseases and renders him highly resistant to most forms of drugs. It also gives him a greatly extended lifespan by slowing his natural aging process to an extraordinary amount. He actually claims to be tens of thousands of years old. His senses of sight, smell, and hearing are also enhanced to unknown superhuman levels. Romulus also possesses some degree of superhuman strength, the limits of which aren't fully known either, though it has been shown that it's sufficient enough to lift Wolverine by one arm over his head and then throw him across a room. His speed, agility, reflexes are similarly enhanced as well. And at the tip of each of his fingers, he has a single retractable claw, Romulus's claws are extremely sharp and they're capable of cutting through most known conventional materials and flesh. Romulus has also displayed some degree of telepathic capabilities. During past confrontations with Wolverine, for instance, he's been able to enter his mind and to manipulate his memories, even going as far as to be able to create false memories or to awaken memories that have been suppressed. However, his telepathic powers are nowhere near the levels of individuals like Charles Xavier. Now, after his return from the Dark Dimension, Romulus underwent the process of bonding adamantium to his skeleton. As a result, his bones are now fully indestructible. Romulus has also had four adamantium claws implanted into each arm that have the same configuration as the claws that were mounted onto his gauntlets. Now, he's consistently depicted as being of exceptional size, even surpassing Sabretooth. He also speaks with a unique accent which, according to Wolverine, sounds partly Italian and partly Japanese. Now, this makes him a very intriguing character. He has made a few elusive appearances in the comic books, and I'd like to see more from him. Because of his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, in a rating of 1 to 10, I'll give him a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new sage.